I'm Michelle. I work in the registrar's office. Our office registers everybody for every class that they take for every semester they're enrolled. We also um, issue transcripts, official or unofficial, we can send them out for you for wherever it needs to go. And we will issue you your student ID number when you register and the class schedule. Okay, You need to bring your high school diploma or GED, whatever you've got, a tribal enrollment number. If you have transcripts from another college, we will need a copy of those and they can be unofficial. And we will send you to do a compass test if you are a new student who has never attended another college or university. If we can figure out, you know, what it is they want to jump into right away, then we can tell them who to go see. Bianca McCloskey and I'm the admin assistant and uh, site tester for foundational studies and arts and science and we work with um, registrar's office because when a, and we're located at the science center next to the bookstore so um, it's really easy to see us because we're like a bigger building here on the main campus and when students first come in to register for St. Igleshka, they usually go to registrars and then they send them to us because students need to do the compass test before they can register here. So the, what you need to bring with you is your high school transcripts or your ACT transcripts and to know your social security number if you don't have your card and to have also your tribal abstract if you have one. And if you don't have one, that's fine too. And the compass test includes mathematics, reading and writing, and the science test. And they are on the computer. So you're going to log in. We assign you a number. You log in and you take your test. And usually it varies from student to student. They get it done between two and four hours. So okay. These compass tests tell us where we need to place you if you need to take the foundational classes or not. And if you pass the compass test, if you test out of them, that's when you can go into the core requirement classes. And if you haven't decided on a major, usually I or my, uh, myself or Julia will um, advise you and say, we're going to set you in arts and sciences for now. And uh, you could go into your core classes for the university. Welcome to Senegleska University. My name is Tom Cox and I'm co-director of the MIS Technology Department. In addition to myself, Rich Keller is also a co-director. Nick Emery is our Genzabar database coordinator. Stacy Farmer is our voice over IP phone technician and we have two full-time computer technicians, Dwayne Stenstrom Jr. and Josh Elder. When you register for classes, a student ID number will be created for you. If you are a returning student, your student ID number will be the same. This ID number will give you access to Genzabar, which is our student information system. You'll be able to check grades, look at your schedule, your current schedule, requirements towards degree, and financial uh, view financial account balances. If you have any questions about Genzabar or assistance accessing your account, please contact Nick Emery at 856-8100 extension 8503. Another area I would like to address is student emails. If you are a returning student, your email will be the same as the previous semester. If you are a new student, an email will be created when registration is completed. You can view how to get SGU email on the webpage under student life, new student information, registration, and scroll to the bottom of the page. This will provide complete instructions on how to access your account information. If you have any questions about the SGU email process, please contact Stacy Farmer at 856-8100 or extension 8578. We also utilize the School Messenger program, formerly the School Reach. If you are a new student, your contact phone number that was entered on your registration form will be added to our student school messenger database. 
School Messenger is used to call students for weather-related late starts or closings, as well as student committee meetings and pertinent student announcements. If you are a returning student but have changed your phone number or wish to be removed from the database, please contact Stacy Farmer at 856-8100, extension 8578, or Tom Cox at 856-8100, extension 8428. Lastly, if you need any tech-related assistance or help with the topics I've mentioned, you can submit a tech request located on the webpage under Quick Links Tech Request. You'll need to provide your name, email address, category, priority, subject, and detailed message of your problem. Your request will be answered within 24 hours. Thank you for your time and for choosing Senegalese University to pursue your higher learning education.